Hey everyone, Swolecat here. You may have used your eyes to figure out that I'm a 3D VTuber. However, I've been mucking around in OBS a bit. I wanted to share how I'd be a PNG tuber if I wanted to. This would mean forsaking my model that I spent hundreds of dollars on, but it is kind of funny, so we're gonna try it anyways. If you're not really into VTubers, you might ask yourself, what is a PNG tuber? Well, it's a VTuber who uses a PNG as an avatar. Not that complicated. There are a couple of reasons that VTubers choose to go this route over a 3D model or even a 2.5D model that has more rigging. First off, the price. Getting a fully rigged 3D or 2D model can cost a lot. I know. There are some DIY and cheapish options, but if like some dumb cat, you have a really specific weird model, then things get real pricey real fast. Second is computer sources. Running VTubing software, especially 3D, is essentially like running another game. If running the latest games in OBS is already too much for your potato to handle, then piling on more could be a really, really bad idea. The third reason is that you want to have some sort of interaction on stream, and you don't want to show your camera, or you don't have a camera at all. Finally, maybe you're super new to streaming and you just want to try it out. Overall, PNG tubing is a great way to get started with minimal cost and commitment. Most PNG tubers use Discord or some other standalone application to make the image move and change when they talk. However, if you are using OBS, not Streamlabs OBS, then you can do it with no additional software. Let's get started. Here's what you're going to need to uh, get going. You, 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 you want... OBS, wow. the Move Transition plugin, yes. and your artwork. OBS is pretty self-explanatory. You cannot use Streamlabs OBS because it does not support plugins. I'm not gonna go on a rant about Streamlabs and all the drama, but I will say regular OBS is also more performant and it's really not that hard to switch over. Next is the Move Transition plugin. I like to use Starscape OBS uh, Manager to keep all my plugins updated, but you can also do a manual installation. Finally, you'll need your artwork. For each expression, you'll need two pictures, one with the mouth open for when you're talking and one with the mouth closed for when you're not. I've made a completely original character called Midi Tonster. Wow. Here's the great artwork I've cobbled together. I have four expressions, uh, default, angry, sad, and XD. <laughs> Once you got these all together, let's start making scenes. The general idea is that we're gonna have one scene for each expression. Then we'll have a camera scene that has all the expression scenes. Then we can use something like Stream Deck, the RN board, or just hotkeys to toggle which expression it's showing. We'll use this camera scene in gameplay or other scenes. Let's take a look at the camera scene. You'll notice that this has all the other expressions as nested scenes. Now let's look at Stream Overlay. You'll notice that it just has camera and the microphone. It's really important to get your microphone set up before you start working on expressions because we need a audio filter to toggle on or off the image so it looks like it's talking. If you're using the global audio devices for your microphone, disable it and add it as a audio input source. I'll go more in depth on the filter once we talk about making the expressions. So let's go look at the default expression. You'll notice here that it has two images that rapidly <laughs> turn on and off based on the noise I make. When I'm not talking, the closed one is visible. And when I am talking, the open one. To get this happening, let's look at the audio filters on the microphone. You'll see that I have one audio move filter for each image. If you don't see the audio move option in uh, the dropdown, you don't have the move transition plugin installed. So you go and reinstall that. Let's go through each row of an audio move filter. First is meter type magnitude. I really don't understand what this does, so I'm just leaving it on the default. Easing is sort of the delay that it switches between on and off. I have this set kind of low so it looks natural. You don't want just a uh, zero. Next up is action. We just want to hide or show the image based on the audio signal. So we're going to select source visibility. Scene and source are very self-explanatory, so we're not going to worry about that. Uh, next up is threshold action. For open, you want enable over and disable under. For close, you want enable under and disable over. I have the threshold set to one. So anytime I make a sound, the open image shows and the closed image hides. You'll do this for every single expression. Now that we have all the expressions set up, let's make an easy way so we can uh, switch expressions while we're streaming. I'm doing the very, very basic thing and I'm just gonna set up a bunch of hotkeys. I have one for show and one for hide for every single expression. Now, because my artwork is the same for every single expression, I'm just changing the face. The overall silhouette is the same. All I really need to do is leave the default on the bottom and then click the show angry a hotkey, and then I'll do it. 
But if I want to hide it, then I just have to press the hide one. But uh, this can kind of get you in a little bit of hot water if you have multiple ones stacked. Because if we look at the camera, now they're all on. So if I wanted to show angry, I have to hide the other ones. So if you had Lioran board or Stream Deck or something like that, you could have a button that hides all the other expressions and then it shows just the one you want. And that'd be probably an easier way to do it, but this is completely free and requires no extra software or hardware. But yeah, so if you see, I, I press the buttons. This is angry, looks good. This is sad, looks good. This is XD, this looks good too. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope this has been helpful. I probably won't be going into PNG tuning anytime soon, but I do think the Move Transition plugin is super duper cool, and this is a great application for it. I'll catch you guys in the next one.